Hello everyone, in this lecture we are just going to discuss how a timer input capture module works in a microcontroller. Let's get started. So most often this input capture peripheral of the microcontroller is used for calculating and measuring the frequency of signal in a microcontroller. So let's see with an example how we can calculate and measure the frequency of the pulse that is given to the input capture pin of the microcontroller. So frequency is measured by counting the number of clock pulses appearing in a particular pin in a microcontroller. So let's assume the timer is running at 1 kHz that is 1000 Hz. So as we know from the previous lecture of timer interrupts, when the timer is started, it start counting from 0 and it will count until the maximum value. So if it is a 16 bit timer, it will count up to 65535 and once it reaches the maximum value, it will roll over from that maximum value to 0 and again it continues the same process. So this is the simplest working principle of timer in a microcontroller. And now in our case, we are assuming that frequency of the timer is 1000 Hz, that is 1 kHz and the time period for that frequency can be given by 1 by 1000, that is nothing but 1 millisecond. This 1 millisecond is nothing but the time taken for the timer for counting one step, that is from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, it will take 1 millisecond for each step of the counter value. So this is the time period of the timer and now in case of input capture module or peripheral we will be having an input capture pin in a microcontroller and whenever a rising edge pulse is given to the input capture pin of the microcontroller the timer count value at that moment will be stored to a register called capture register and here you can see the rising edge is occurring at the count value 2. So this value timer count value will be stored in a register called capture register and this process continues sequentially and in the next rising edge again the same process continues and the timer count value at that moment will be again stored to the capture register. Now we got two consecutive values of the input capture right. Now let's see how we can find the frequency of this blue color pulse with the help of these two values. So we know that the time taken for one count of the timer is 1 milliseconds that we got from the inverse of the frequency 1 by 1000. Time period of this wave can be given by 6 minus 2. You can see this is the one full pulse, right? This is T on and this is T off. So time between these two can be given by subtracting 6 by 2. So the time period of this pulse is 4 milliseconds and using this time period of 4 milliseconds we can find the frequency. So frequency is nothing but inverse of time period. So 1 by 4 millisecond is nothing but 250 hertz. So this is the frequency of the pulse that is given at the input capture pin of the microcontroller. So in this wave you can find the frequency of the pulse that is given to the input capture pin of the microcontroller and like we saw in the previous timer input mode so whenever a rising edge pulse is given to the input capture pin the timer peripheral interrupts the processor with an interrupt called timer input capture interrupt. So like timer interrupt this input capture interrupt will also be interrupting the processor and using the interrupt handler we can do all these kinds of calculation for calculating the frequency of wave as well as the time period of the signal. So this is the working principle of timer input capture peripheral in a microcontroller. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.